Are you looking to easily upgrade the host operating system of your Kubernetes nodes? With Nutanix Carbon, you can quickly and easily upgrade the host OS of your Kubernetes nodes all within Nutanix Prism. So let's get started. In a previous video, we successfully deployed this production grade Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we see that it's healthy and also that there is an upgrade available. The reason for that is there's actually a couple of host OS uh, versions available in the Carbon UI here. Uh, so you can imagine if you deploy a Kubernetes cluster and then about a, a month later, updated version of the host operating system uh, is released. You'll see a new option within the UI here and the ability to download it. So you'll just come in here and click a button to download it. And then once it is downloaded, like we see here, we get the option to upgrade the cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And if we click on upgrade available, we see that the current version is 0.0, .0 and we can upgrade to 0.1. So we can do a pre-check, and we'll go ahead and do that, and we see that the pre-check is successful. So now I'm gonna do an actual upgrade. So this is gonna take uh, five to 10 minutes. Uh, all the, the VMs uh, of this underlying Kubernetes cluster are gonna get upgraded. While we're waiting, uh, let's go through the UI here a little bit. We're just gonna go down the list. Uh, we see uh, the alert section. Uh, this is a brand new cluster, so not much from an alerting perspective yet. Uh, any tasks for the cluster will show up here. Uh, we see that they were successfully deployed earlier. And now we see that the upgrade is running at 5%. The next option is for storage classes. Uh, this default storage class we created during cluster deployment. In an upcoming video, we will create another storage class. Stay tuned for that. Any volumes that get sourced from our storage classes will show up here. These are three volumes that get created automatically at Carbon Cluster deployment. We see a couple of uh, Prometheus volumes. Uh, that's for monitoring. And then we also see an Elasticsearch volume, uh, which is for our Nutanix logging. Next, we have the add-ons. Uh, we see this logging add-on was automatically created. I can actually click on this link and it will open up the Kibana dashboard. So right now I haven't created any uh, visualizations, but we can, for instance, come to the Discover and view all kinds of logging uh, about the Kubernetes cluster. Feel free to create visualizations and dashboards. Uh, this is especially useful for any of your production clusters. And then finally in the nodes section, uh, we can get information about the, the master nodes, the worker nodes, and the etcd nodes. Uh, in an upcoming video, we will be adding a worker node, so stay tuned for that. If we come back to the task section, we see that the node upgrade is about 41% done. This is gonna take a little bit more, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video at this point. All right, and now we see that our Node OS upgrade is at 100% and it has succeeded. If we go back to our list here, we'll notice that the version has been updated here and there's no longer an upgrade available. Uh, so that's how you perform a host operating system upgrade on your Carbon Kubernetes cluster. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful and keep an eye out for more Nutanix Carbon videos coming soon.